How you doing today? Fair to Midland. All right, what, what's your name? Manic Mechanic. <laughs> Otherwise known as Randy. Randy, all right. So what, what are we working here today? You know, got my YouTube channel, All Things Buick. So I'm gonna feature you here today. What, what you, what you got here today? I brought Black Beauty with me today. All right. My horse. She's a 1991 Buick Riata Roadster. Some people call them convertible, but if you notice, there really ain't no top when you put it down. They produced a total of 305 of these convertibles. Many of them were destroyed or sent to training facilities. Only 199 cars. What you mean training tight. facilities? Uh, schools where they could learn to work on the new technology cars. Oh, okay, okay. So how many did you say survived? 199 actually got titled from GM. All right, because these are kind of real. You don't see these, you don't see these every day. No. Uh, the only time I run across another one is when I'm visiting a friend who bought one from me, or if I'm at a Buick show. Okay. So when you say brought one from you, how many you had over the years? My lucky number, I've actually had 13 total. Oh, really? I bought the last one a, a year ago. Okay. Actually, I sold it a year ago. I bought it about a month before that, and then I got an offer I couldn't refuse. They go pretty good, huh? Well, people that like unique cars, like unique cars. Yeah, I got you, I got you. Uh, Black Beauty is one of seven that were made in this color set. Okay. Black with a black top and flame red interior. Right. The uh, last one built was identical to Beauty. That was in the GM Heritage Collection until a couple of years ago it went to auction. Now it's in California. Okay. And just last year, uh, through the Buick Club, I found the uh, another one, which is in Madison, Wisconsin. Okay. And so far as the club knows, those are the only three existing out of the original Seven Sisters. Oh, really? So how long you had this one? Actually, I got this one on eBay in 2005. Mm. Not my first choice for color set, but I love it. Man, black is always beautiful, I'm telling you. They, oh, yeah. they just oh, love a black car. Interior. You can't beat that, man. That screams Cadillac, Corvette. All right. You know, the best stuff. Let me see what's Let going on in here. I just took the seat covers off in 2017 to take it to a Buick National Show. And the seats felt so good, I said, you know what? I'm not putting the seat covers back on. Well, I'm going to enjoy this car. That's the next dude's problem. I've done plenty of restorations. This is one for me to enjoy. All right. So what you got up under the hood there? It's, it's dirty today, guys, because uh, it's been raining here in Wisconsin. But over here at the Wayne's house and... It's actually finally uh, the sun then came out. So. Yeah, we had rain on the show field, so we're not allowed to judge paint. <laughs> <laughs> that 3800, boy, they run they run forever. I had a 95 Pontiac with one of them in there. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> well, these cars have a speed limiter that'll keep them from going over 125 because the designers said that 135, it becomes a wing and comes off the ground. Oh, really? She looks pretty nice, guys. This is the first time I broke her out this year. Oh, really? Yep. Washed her down, <laughs> took her out, and it rained all It over. rained all the way over. I know it did. Well, not but, when I had the top down. It well, because you tore it up. I washed it. I saw a break in the clouds, so I took the top down, and it hasn't dared rain since. Yeah, and you rolled yeah, in. Yeah, we got a hole in the sky right before us. Look at that. I like that. Got it right there behind the center of the console. So what's what's these here? Uh, storage compartments. Okay. I keep some. Oh, there we go. This is actually. <laughs> <laughs> well, you just happened to find that, huh? Look. <laughs> well, this was actually made for the last car built on the Re the Riata assembly line. Right. The tag had 
dashes instead of slashes for the date. Right. So they tossed it aside and said, go make another one. I bought this from the gentleman that worked at the craft center who made it and made its successor. All right. I have the tag in the glove box. When I first got it, the tag fell behind the ashtray in the, in the center console. I couldn't get it out of there for like seven, eight years. Yeah, this is really nice. Real car. You don't see these every day. Yeah, that dash still, look at that. That really looks nice. Really looks nice. So I gave him one of my cars. They're all things Buick. <laughs> these the speaker, speaker uh, yeah. panels here? Yep. Nice. Everybody loves a convertible, man. And how many miles you say you got on this? 31,469. Okay, okay. All right. Well, I thanks keep, for letting you feature me. <laughs> all right. Thank you for featuring on Bu All Things Buick. I like that. Rare cars. You just don't see them every day. You didn't even see them a lot when they was new. That's right. You didn't see them a lot. Well, only 199 cars. Yeah. How many is that? How many is that That's per state? Carini time. That's like two a right. state, two a state or something, ain't it? Or one. There are one. very few cars, production cars. They've made less than that. The Avantes were under 200 every year. Right. Right. And then you have. Why, to go back do you know why the production Eldorado numbers were so Brown. low? 59 Eldorado Brome convertible, 101 cars. Okay. Before that, you got to go back in the 40s. Well, why, no you, why was the production number so low on these? Well, uh, halfway through production, the uh, managers at GM decided trucks are big. We're going to make trucks. Let's make the SSR. Stop making them. Right. They killed the program mid-year. That's why the 91s, there's uh, 1,215 coupes and only 199 convertibles got released. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, and then I like that too. The headlights, they come up. Yeah, that's nice. The headlights. Yeah, like. Yeah, that's nice. Behind the license plate cover, there's cut, a couple cut, of cut holes. Cut the lights on real quick. Cut the lights on. Let me see that flip up like that. Oh, you're going to love this. <laughs> Beauty's going to be winking at you. <laughs> Look at that, guys. <laughs> it's a rare car. You don't see them every day. All right. We're riding this bad boy today. Take it for a ride. Oh, and you can fit a couple dead bodies in the trunk. I've had two full bags of clubs in there. Is it all junky back there or what? No. No? You most find everybody, most of them are all junked up. They have everything in there. Well. But, but the dead bodies. I tell you what, <laughs> you'd be amazed. We'll do a demonstration on how much fits in the trunk. How's that? Well, are you going to get in there? I'm not. <laughs> no, that's okay. Oh, you do got junk in here. Look. I see these cars actually came with this beautiful cover that you put on the tonneau. Oh, really? That's actually a, a factory stock piece. Okay. This out real nice. So that, we can get the that is a pretty nice. Oh, that was in the trunk. That was. That is a pretty nice uh, size trunk, dear. Oh, the biggest piece is still in there, man. <laughs> what you got up under there? Well, this is all car show stuff. You know, the polish and all that, and that's swap parts and spare parts for this car. Like I said, I own 13 of them. I got parts. Yeah, yeah 13 baby. Of them. Yeah, uh, that's for your car show, huh? Yep. So you don't want a few awards then, huh? She got a couple. Of course, I don't have the trophies. <laughs> The trophies are at home because they don't fit in the trunk with all this other stuff. But I got a trophy about as tall as that board, Great Lake Dragway. And I don't know, it's one of them cars. You roll it up on the show line, and everybody says, oh man. <laughs> all right. 
man, I appreciate you. I'm glad I met you over here at Dwayne's today at the uh, Pig Roast. But uh, I'm glad to thank you for letting me feature you on my channel. My pleasure. My you pleasure. know, so she's pretty nice. Boy, that interior is like, that interior is in mint condition. Yeah, I haven't had her on video nice. since uh, Great Lakes Dragway. They used to do that uh, that show called Guess the Time. Okay. The guy caught me out there in the lot. He said, man, this car looks like money. I just sold a car. I took a 3,020s. I was waving it out there. He was doing video of it. <laughs> All right, well, and, you know, I did their little tag. Guess the time, win the cash. Yeah, I yeah. Win the cash. <laughs> they never used it on a commercial, but I know the production company out of Chicago. I got Still got you. the film somewhere. Look at that, guys. Digital Dash, 91. That's why I got to memorize the miles. Oh, the, the air there's a problem yeah. with the dash there's a capacitor that goes bad in it once I fix that it'll show the right miles again because they're in the body computer right. but for now it says air She ride pretty smooth. I'm Those telling you. shocks are dead, man. They still rides pretty nice. Oh, the smooth road. Watch it. All right. Yep. Better put the safety glasses on. <laughs> Pretty good, guys. Nice and smooth. This car only weighs 60 pounds less than a Park Avenue in the same year. How much? 60 pounds less than a Park Avenue in the same year. Okay. Yeah, she got a nice smooth ride on her, though. And you say you say that's neat and struts and oh yeah, it's riding on suspension. suspension, man. Oh, that's good. Go down this road a little bit. Need a little bit of breathing room. Somebody not right in front of me. <laughs> God, what a beautiful day! Wisconsin summers, man. Yeah, she riding real nice, though. I don't hear no clanging and clanging. I got a little bit of brake clatter on the left rear. I hit the right bump, you hear the brake clatter a little bit. Uh, okay, uh, I don't hear nothing. See, if you I'm wouldn't have said good. nothing, I wouldn't have knew nothing. <laughs> it's not a bumpy road you'll hear. Yeah, this road is it's bumpy enough. And she riding pretty good. Shifter is shifting good and everything. Is that right there? Uh, Powers Lake, I think. The shifts at 5500. And you know, just 
just like a cat, like anything over 50 feels like about 50. You know, like <laughs> big Buick. Big yeah, Buick yeah. It feels like about 50. Yeah, miles. still feel the same. I remember my mother back in the days. She used to, hey, my, brother, my father brought a brand new 73 Electra, brand new. Oh, man. And um, she, she used to hate driving that car. She said she would always get a ticket. Yep. Said she would be doing about 50, think she only doing 30, end up with a speeding ticket. She never yep. did like driving that car. Well, you know, LeSabre's have always been like that. LeSabre and Electra. Yeah. You know, it's so smooth, like a Cadillac, you don't even realize how fast you're going. Yeah, how fast you're going, going exactly. She's rolling good though. Nice and smooth. It's a very comfortable car. You know, it's personal luxury. You're going over bumps, man. You really, I'm telling you. She pretty well my good maintain, that's for sure. Shades on to look at it is so bright. Yeah, she rolling pretty My good. My dad, who lives in North Carolina, and he comes up, I take him for rides, we go in places. Oh. And then he said, I was telling him, oh, he said your red car? Because it's so red inside, you don't realize you're in a black car. He thought it was a red car. <laughs> you know, thinking back of when he drove in it. Right, right. And there go all the big boys right there. Because Wayne's little pig lost the day. All right. That's my thing. That Riviera? Oh, yeah. I used to have a 73 GS Stage 1. Oh, man. One of my favorite. The stereo, the stereo got the EQ on it. Yep. Cassette I mean, and just, CD. It's just these, you know, just unique things, features on these cars, man. I really like it. Yeah, look at that. And the way to tell a well, night. It's got a disc player down here too. I didn't yeah. notice that. It got a disc yep. player. Wow. Okay. Oh, it's got we'll one of these it. things. You don't find these car. in new cars. Shift the ashtray. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's got even the money. Tollway yeah. changer, man. It's really nice. These are the fog really, light really switch. Nice. It's easy to tell a 90 from a 91, usually by the wheels, but if they switch the wheels, only the 91 has the fog light switch right there. Oh, okay. They made uh, 41 different changes to the car and the suspension and drivetrain. That's why it runs so years. good because of the... The Grand Touring Suspension. Grand Touring Suspension. Nice ride. Thanks, man, for letting me feature you, I'm telling you. All right.